curious about how to strengthen your knees? Today we're going to go over five exercises to strengthen your hips and knees in order to bulletproof and protect your knee against stress and injury. I'm Sam Chan, physical therapist and athletic trainer from Bespoke Treatments New York. Today we're going to talk about exercises that are going to build hip strength as well as quad strength, which are really important to take away any stress at the kneecap and at the joint. These exercises are a great way to improve mobility and improve your ability to appreciate and tolerate stress, load, and stretching at the joint level. First exercise today, we're gonna go over the side plank with leg raise. This is a great exercise that's going to target the lateral hip, that glute medius muscle. This is a really important muscle that's gonna support your knee place it in the proper position when you're going through your squats and your lunges and your workouts. We're setting up in the side plank position. Think three H's, heels, hips, head in perfect alignment. Vaughn's gonna start lifting that top leg up towards the ceiling, up and down. Now we're working both hips right now, but you should be feeling most of the burn at the bottom, that lower hip. That is where your hips are working the hardest. That's where your glute medius is firing nice and strong, stabilizing his body, preventing his hips from dropping down to the floor. With this exercise, I'd recommend two to three sets of 10 repetitions per side, just to really get you going before you continue into your workout. Second exercise, we're gonna go over what I call the eccentric split squat. So Vaughn here is set up in that split squat position, like a lunge position. Feet are hip width apart and a nice lunge width. He's gonna slowly drop that rear knee down towards the floor. We're going for a five second descent and he's gonna feel a very strong stretch in that back leg. In that left leg, he's gonna feel a stretch in the hip flexors. He's gonna feel a stretch in the quads and maybe a little bit of tension around the kneecap as well. This is a really tough exercise that's gonna really light you up, wake you up and get you nice and limber. So I'd recommend two sets of eight repetitions per leg to start off your workout. Let's talk about squats now. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the goblet squat. So anytime we have the weight in the front of our body, thinking goblet squat with the dumbbell, goblet squat with the kettlebell, or even front squat with the barbell, that's gonna place extra load on the quads versus when we go into a back squat, that's gonna hit the glutes a little bit more. When we're thinking knee health, we wanna build the quads up nice and strong to take the pressure away from the kneecaps and protect your joint. In terms of volume, I'd recommend four sets of eight to 10 repetitions at a moderate weight, just to really hit those quads, ensuring we're creating that physiological change at the muscle level, at the tissue level. Exercise number four, we're gonna go over the reverse Nordic exercise. So before you start the exercise, Vaughn, I want you to think about squeezing the glutes, abs tight, drawing rib cage to belt buckle. You should already feel a stretch in the thigh before you start the repetition. I'd recommend going for three to six reps nice and slow, thinking a three to five second descent on every repetition, really building up that time under tension. We're creating that stretch in the muscle, but hey, we want it to contract at the same time. So that's a really, really tough exercise. We're gonna feel possibly a little bit of discomfort in the knees. So we're just exposing your body to this stress. There's compression by kneeling on the floor. Start out nice and easy, start out low. If it hurts, I'd recommend starting even maybe even less repetitions, just two to three and then adding in additional reps as you feel stronger and more confident in this move. Final exercise today, let's give you an isometric exercise just to really build up tension, build some endurance in that quad muscle. Again, we're slamming quads today because we wanna build your resilience, your tolerance for anterior front knee loading. So Vaughn right here, he has one foot on the box in a nice 90 degree angle. I want him to maintain this angle the whole time throughout the exercise. So we're gonna tap up and down on the box, going for 15 seconds to start. We're trying our best not to let the knee bounce up and down. You're gonna feel a burn in the thigh and the quadriceps muscle. This is an advanced version of the wall sit. So dynamic at the same time, isometric contraction in the quad, building that endurance building fatigue, feeling that nice, nice burn. As you can see, keeping your knees healthy involves building strength in the lateral hips and building strength in those quadriceps muscles. Really hitting those muscles in a sustained matter, time under tension, that's gonna keep your knees happy. It's gonna keep you moving well and pain-free throughout your workouts.